Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel and welcome back to my Sims 4 speedrunning video or welcome to the channel if you are new here. So in today's video I'm going to be building in the world of Willow Creek which is one of the base game worlds and I'm going to be building a Sage Estates or the Sage Estates retirement home. So this lot ends up having six bedrooms and eight bathrooms and it's built on a 50 by 50 lot. Now I have wanted to sit down and build a retirement home for literally the longest time. Like I'm going on years at this point. I've wanted to sit down and build something kind of for elders in the game because we don't really have anything like that. Like we don't have any like elder based lots or any kind of like elder based real gameplay in The Sims 4. And so for a really long time, I've been wanting to sit down and just build a little retirement home for Sims to come and live here full time. And ever since we got the release of The Sims 4 Grand Together expansion pack, I've just, I've wanted to do it even more. And I've even had some comments from some of you guys requesting that I build like a retirement home or a care home and so, I thought what more of a perfect time than now to actually sit down and build one and yeah this is how it turned out. I'm really happy with it and I'm really proud of it so I hope you guys like it but getting on and actually talking more about the lot itself. So I'm calling this lot the Sage Estates Retirement Home for a reason. It's not just like a, a name that I've plonked out of thin air. There, there is a reason for it and that reason is because if you're familiar with the world of Willow Creek and you're familiar with all the different neighbourhoods, you might be aware of the fanciest neighbourhood in this world which is the Sage Estates. Now if you're not aware, basically it's this neighbourhood which is on the top left hand side of the map. It's got two lots. 150 by 50 which I'm building on and then the neighbouring lot is a 40 by 30 and basically the impression that I get from this little area is the fancy sims live here like sims that have got a bit of bit of I'm, I'm rubbing my fingers together you can't see me but sims that have got a little bit of money they, they live in this neighborhood it is absolutely beautiful like the views are breathtaking I don't know why I never build here like I, I think this might be potentially my first ever build that I've done in this neighborhood which it's completely bizarre because I've I've been building The Sims for years at this point and somehow I've just kind of neglected this little area of the world. But it's basically the fanciest neighbourhood and I wanted to build a retirement home but I wanted to build like a big one. Like I wanted it to be big and I just wanted it to be filled with absolutely everything that elders could do in, in the game. And so I thought why not build it on this 50 by 50 lot. It's in the neighbourhood that's called Sage Estates. The Sage Estates Retirement Home, it's kind of got like a nice little ring to it. And so, yeah, that is the reason why I'm calling this lot the Sage Estates Retirement Home. But moving on and actually talking a little bit more about what's on the inside of this lot. So this massive community lot residential hybrid venue, I'm calling it a hybrid because I did build it to be a residential and your Sims could live here full time without any worries. But I wanted it to feel partly like a community lot, but then like a residential. It's like an actual, not like how a... How a retirement home would feel like in real life so on the inside there is pretty much a room for every single type of activity that i could think of that ends up being a music room it's got a grand piano in there it's got a few violins and guitars even got a karaoke machine i really like the idea of maybe on like a friday or a saturday night maybe all the elders that live in this residential maybe get together and have like a little a little karaoke competition and so i put that into the music room and then i try to place some chairs in kind of like a semi-circle motion around it to make it look like the elders will like sit and watch each other maybe like judge each other but then there is also a painting room which the painting room it is one of my favorite rooms in this whole entire build it's located at the front of the lot but it's got these big windows the ones from the industrial loft kit if you're familiar you see where i've used them at the front on the left hand side it ends up being a painting room and the views in that room are just absolutely breathtaking but then there is also multiple different card rooms and like card tables so you know them activity tables that we've got from a few different dlcs but i think we've also got one from base game and it's basically where your sims can sit down they can play puzzles card symbols and like don't make the llama basically i've got a ton of different areas and spaces where they are in this in this build there is two separate rooms for it and then in one of the rooms i dotted in like a music station a darts board there's also a foosball table in that room as well pretty much i went through the activities and skills category in build and buy mode and just plonked everything that i could think of into this into this build somewhere and tried to make it make sense in like the room that it was in but then there is also a computer room also a bit of a library there is also two tv rooms now one of them is like a it's like a big more like fancy tv room so it's got a bit of a bigger tv it's got like a three-seater sofa and then it's got like a chess table in the corner and a bookcase and stuff but then there is also a tv room which is on the smaller side but again it's like one of my favorite like areas in this whole entire build because i tried to make it look like 
there was like a little retro TV plonked on like a side and there's a few different rocking chairs going around it in like a little semicircle motion and there is also a little piano in that room as well. Then there is also the kitchen and the cafeteria and the dining room area. There is just honestly so much to do on the inside of this house. I really tried to figure out, okay, well what like what kind of things do I like to do and what kind of activities do I like to get elders to interact with in my own personal game? And I just basically put it into this lot somewhere. And then on the upstairs level, because all of that was just on the first floor. So if you go up to the second floor or like, if you go up the stairs basically, we have the six bedrooms and then the six bathrooms. Now the way that I did the bedrooms is I decorated them all to be in their own individual styles. So I didn't use the same bed. I didn't use the same like kind of items. I basically wanted there to be different kind of sims I could picture living in this house. I did do three rooms to be kind of decorated towards a career that the, the retired sims might have previously been in. And then I decorated three to be more generic. So for the three rooms that I decorated to be more for sims I imagine were in a previous career, I decorated one to be for a famous actress. And I must admit, I did give them the bigger room because when I was building this, I was thinking, okay, well, what about, picture like, you know, Judith Ward, maybe if she wanted to get retired or something, she would probably pay a little bit extra cash to have the fanciest room with the best view <laughs> in this build. And so there is one room for a retired actress. There is also one room for a fisherman or maybe just a sim that really likes fishing. There is loads of different like mounted fish on the wall, loads of different like fishing rods and just fishing bits and pieces basically. And there is also another room which I decorated to be for a sim that really liked bowling. Maybe they were like a bowling champion or something, but I placed down a few different like bowling trophies and little bowling pins into their room. And then it, yeah, the other three are just kind of more generic, kind of like elder cutesy kind of rooms. I didn't want every single room to have like a certain type of personality or a certain type of sim and a certain type of career tied to it because I was thinking, well, what about if you want to download this build and you want your little elder sim to live here with all their mates? What about if they're in a completely different career that I didn't design a room to? So there is three kind of like more generic rooms and you can kind of leave them as they are or you could come in and maybe add in, I don't know, maybe if they were like a criminal or something, you could add in some like criminal clutter. <laughs> I don't even know what criminal clutter is, but you know, you could definitely change the rooms depending on what kind of sims that you picture would be living here if they are retired. But then all of the bedrooms do have an ensuite. So every single room has a double bed and an ensuite. And there is also another two bathrooms downstairs. I was more so thinking, say if your sim's relatives come to visit you on like a Sunday or something and your sim lives here, I don't want them to have to go all the way upstairs to go into their bedroom, to go into their ensuite to use the bathroom. And so there is two toilets downstairs. That is pretty much it, I think, anyway, on the inside of this build. There is a lot, honestly. <laughs> there is so much going on on the inside of this house, but I just wanted it to be filled with all the different types of activities that we've got from every single type of DLC in the game that makes sense to be in a retirement home and put it into this build. There is also multiple different rocking chair areas, by the way, which aren't really tied to a certain type of room, but there, don't worry, there is honestly probably about 30, no exaggeration, rocking chairs in this build. And I'm so happy with the Growing Together expansion pack, we finally got some other versions of the rocking chair because previously we only had wooden versions with like a little cushion on it. But the new one that we got from the new EP, honestly, there must be about 30 rocking chairs in this build. But it makes sense because a lot of elders live here and a lot of elders have a lot of space to reminisce and just knit and crochet, which again by the way there is like little like knitting bits and pieces dotted about and little crocheting like activity things there is basically everything that stereotypically i imagine elders would do in this build somewhere but then on the outside <laughs> because i did want the outside to also be interesting i tried to make it look like on one side that there was a swimming pool and the other side it was kind of like a a badminton court, tennis court, basketball court kind of situation. Now, I know typically you wouldn't find a swimming pool area in a retirement home. I mean, you might do, but I mean, I feel like in real life, that's not something that you regularly come about, but it's a Sims 4 and it's another thing for your Sims to interact with. And I just thought it'd be fun. And it's also like a nice little filler for the back garden. The back garden ends up being colossal in this house. I tried to structure it so your Sims will kind of like walk out the back doors. You have really big space and it's got these really high hedges and then in the middle I try to do like a little 
a hedge maze. So I use those different hedges in the game and I tried to make it look like a little bit of a maze. Your Sims can't actually go in it. It's just purely for decoration. But there is that in the middle. You go off to the left and you have the swimming pool area. You have the sun lounges. You also have some seating areas and just, you know, just some things for your Sims to do around the pool. And then if you chuck a right when you come out the back doors, you then go down into that little basketball court area. I was personally imagining that it would be for like tennis or badminton or something but unfortunately we don't have that in the sims 4 so i did make it so it's a basketball court but in my head it's also like a little a tennis area but then we also have some ping pong tables outside as well as multiple different chess tables and just a few different planters i think i end up only placing down two planters but there is some planters for your sims to do some gardening and then yeah loads of different seating areas oh and also one thing that i'm so excited for that i use in this build I don't know if you're familiar with the romantic garden stuff pack, but there are some beautiful garden items in that stuff pack, in that DLC, that I've never used before because they're quite fancy looking. I've got to use them in this build, and I'm so happy about it because it makes sense as well for how structured the landscaping is in the back garden. To have these quite fancy looking like garden pieces and garden furniture, it makes sense, but you'll see that I'll do that in, in just a second. But... Yeah, that is pretty much everything that's on the inside of this build. I'm so happy and so proud of the way it turned out because, like I said, I've been wanting to build a retirement home for literally years at this point. And it's been a little bit of a, a bit of a daunting task, I'm not going to lie to you, to actually build one because I just didn't really know how I wanted it to look and I, I'm just, I'm really happy with, with the way it turned out. And uh, yeah, I just hope you like it as well. But anyway... Getting back to talking about what I'm actually doing right now and actually what is on the screen. So you can see that I've pretty much done the whole front portion of the build. I've already done all the landscaping, all the different trees and all the different like bushes and hedges and just all the different bits and pieces basically in the front garden. One thing that I did on the front, which I just, I think it makes it, it's the terrain painting. I don't know if you catched it, but basically I... I used a, a different like, darker grass in the game and then I got a slightly lighter grass and then I went in and then I tried to draw lines to make it look like the grass is manicured because I wanted the exterior and also the interior of this build to be quite, I don't want to say fancy, but I wanted it to look very manicured and it's a very well kept residential community slot hybrid. I wanted it to look like your sims, if they pay some money to, to live here, they, they're, getting, they're getting their money's worth. And so I wanted it to look really like manicured at the front. And so what I did is I basically went in and individually draw these little lines with grass. Honestly, I, the concentration on my face, because when you're doing that, the, the terrain tool, and especially my mouse is so sensitive. If I would have moved, it would have like jolted it. And where I was doing it for quite a large portion of the front of the build, don't worry because I'm fine, but I'm pretty sure for like a solid minute I just held my breath because I didn't want I didn't want to accidentally like move my hand in a way and then mess up the terrain painting. But yeah, I love the way the grass looks at the front. And then we've got all these tall trees. It's just I'm just so happy with the landscaping in this build. But now you can see that I've moved on to the back garden area. So I really wanted there to be quite a fancy kind of like courtyard area and that is pretty much what I've done over here and so your sims would walk out and they've got this kind of like little maze in the middle which I just use some base game hedges and then basically just plopped them in a rectangle and then put some going diagonally and then I found this bush which is the one that I put in the middle of it which I think is from the get together expansion pack but it was just kind of like a perfect fancy plant basically to put in the middle of it and then along the sides of it and around like the edges obviously all like hedge area i placed down some little seating benches a few different chess tables and then i used some stuff from the romantic garden stuff pack basically place it down into the middle back portion so you can see how i've like kind of like structured it i tried to make the the landscaping quite symmetrical in this build which i feel like works for this type of residential community lot hybrid and especially for it to be a retirement home and how well put together i wanted it to be i wanted to landscape it quite similar on both sides but yeah i use the romantic garden stuff kind of like a little gazebo it is so cute and I've, i don't think i've ever used it before in the past and when i was building it i was thinking about the scenario of okay what about if you've got two sims two little elders that live here and maybe they've got like a little blossoming romance maybe they fancy each other <laughs> or something i could just picture two sims and maybe sitting on that bench in that gazebo and just having a chit chat and then maybe like expressing their feelings for another 
honestly it makes my heart melt i was just i just thought that was such a sweet idea i was also thinking with all the different benches that i've placed down into that courtyard maybe when like your sims relatives come and visit them on like a sunday or something they'd maybe go outside and have a chit chat and maybe have a little catch up so there is multiple different benches for your sims to basically just sit down and catch up on but you know i'm so happy that i finally got to use some stuff from the romantic garden stuff pack because that dlc has been out for ages i don't even know when it came out like maybe what 2015 2016 or something i think it was one of the first stuff packs that we've got in the game and i rarely ever use any of the items because they're just so hard to put into a build but for this build it just made absolute perfect sense but over here you can see that i've now moved over and i'm focusing on this little pool area now like i said i don't think it's very realistic and i i doubt there's probably going to be a retirement home in real life that has a swimming pool i mean there might be i don't know i just feel like typically you don't come across retirement homes or care homes that have swimming pools in because it's actually quite dangerous if you think about it but i wanted to fill out the back garden nicely and it kind of it acts like a nice filler a swimming pool and it just looks really nice with all the landscaping and so i thought well i'm still going to place one down your sims don't have to use it but if they want to use it they can still like get up their fitness skill and stuff one thing i will say to you though as kind of like a recommendation i wouldn't get your sims to go in the swimming pool and then straight after go over to the other side of the garden and use the basketball pool because both of them skills like both of them interactions raise the fitness skill and if you're not aware in the sims 4 if elders work out too much they they basically they they pop their clogs like they, they die so if i was you and you want to get your sims to actually go in the swimming pool i probably wouldn't do the swimming pool and then the basketball pool or vice versa or whatever order because you could potentially end up having one less sim in your household but i mean you, you don't even have to get your sims to interact with the swimming pool you could just get your sims to come out here in their little swimming suit maybe relax in the sun lounger i also placed down one of them drinks trays that i think is from the backyard stuff pack and your sims can make like iced tea or lemonade or something maybe they just want to come out here and relax maybe catch a tan and maybe have a chip chat with like their best mate or something when i was building this house or like this this lot i was i was thinking about all these different situations that sims would be in and like one instance in the inside of the house I placed down the little retro TV and I placed down the rocking chairs around it. But I was thinking about what about the personality of a sim that just wants to hog the TV and wants to watch their certain channel. And so I tried to place down one armchair right next to the TV. I was just trying to think about all the different scenarios that you could have when you're playing in this build. And one of the scenarios I was thinking about when I was in the back garden area is what about if your sims just like to have a catch up with their best friend, like your sim... I don't know what her name is, Sheila or something, I don't know. She likes to have a catch up with her best mate, Beverly, around the swimming pool or something. I just thought it was a nice little, a nice little added touch into the build. But yeah, you definitely don't have to get your sims to use it if you don't want to. And of course, if you think it's really unrealistic, you can definitely just delete it. But like I said, it's a sims 4. It just, it adds something else into the build and just, it makes it more usable for both your sims and also you because it makes it a little bit more fun but anyway moving from that also in that area that ends up being a few different planters so your sims can do a little bit of gardening i would have liked to have added more planters than what i did because in my own personal gameplay one of my favorite things to get elders to do is gardening like, i love getting elder sims to do gardening and baking and knitting i know it's very stereotypical but i just i just love that and by the way you don't have to be an elder to enjoy all of them things as well i mean i enjoy some of them things as well but i just i love getting my elder sims in my gameplay to do a little bit of gardening i would have liked to have been able to add more planters than what i did and you won't see it because i had to cut it out but over here i've now moved over onto the basketball court i had to cut out quite a large chunk of this footage because for honestly about 20 minutes in real time i was trying to figure out how i can lay out some planters to make it make sense and also kind of like go with i don't want to say go with the flow but you know like go with the rest of the garden because it is quite structured i spent so much time trying to figure it out in the end i just thought you know what we've got some planters over the other side if your sim wants to do some gardening they can do it over there and if you want to add some more and you find a better place to add them then definitely feel free to but yeah, I, I tried for ages to try and fit in these planters, but in the end, over here, there ends up being the basketball court, the ping pong table, or actually there ends up being two ping pong tables, and then also a little fountain in the middle. Like I said, when I was building the basketball court, I was more so imagining that maybe it was like badminton or tennis or something. And it made me, it actually got me thinking, it made me think, if we was to ever get like an elder based pack in The Sims 4, which I know you're probably thinking, why do we need an elder based pack? 
we don't but it's a sims 4 we've literally got a we've got a kit for plants and we've got <laughs> a natural pack a dlc just related to toothpaste and bathroom related items but if we was to ever get like an elders kind of related stuff pack or kit i was thinking okay well what kind of things would i want to see in it one of the things would be like badminton or tennis even though you don't have to be an elder to do that a lot of people do that in real life and they're not elders i just thought it'd be like a nice little thing to add in because we don't really have that many activities outside that your sims can do in terms of like we've got basketball and we've got soccer or football depending on where you live in the world but we haven't really got too much else rather than that and so i'd like to see like badminton and like tennis if we was to ever get like an elder focus pack also I want a walking cane. That was one thing, I'm not gonna lie, that I was a little bit gutted about with the Growing Together expansion pack because where it is such a family-focused pack and it really focuses on all the life stages in the game, I was really holding out that this will be the DLC that we finally get a walking cane in the game, but I mean, unfortunately, we, we didn't get one of them. But yeah, it did get me thinking, this build, about all the different things that would potentially come in an Elder-based DLC because... I have said it before in the past, like we need more stuff for elders to do, but then realistically, what do I actually want in like a an elder based pack? Because elders can just do everything that young adults and even sometimes teenagers can do. And I feel like now with The Sims 4, the way that they've kind of implemented different activities and a different activities, skill building items into different packs, I feel like now we have quite a good handful i would say for elders to do i mean we've got the nifty knitting stuff packs so your sims can knit now we've also got rocking chairs we've also got crocheting we've also got like cards and puzzles and things so they're very stereotypical for elders but yeah I, it really did get me thinking this build in terms of if there ever was to be like a a kit or a stuff pack related to elders what would I actually want to see in it? Because I actually, I, I wouldn't have a clue rather than a walking cane and like badminton or tennis or, oh, I can't think of what it's called, but there's this sport, I should probably look it up, but you basically plop down little kind of like arches into grass and then using like a, a wooden looking hammer, I hope you know what I'm talking about, you basically like get these balls and you, you try and like hit them through these little arches. Do you know what I'm talking about? I ain't got a clue how to actually get it up on Google to tell you the proper name for it, but I'd like to see that as well. In the sims 4 because i feel like that's something that a lot of older people do but i don't know either way moving on from that as you can see i've now moved on into the inside of the build i started off by doing the little front entrance hallway now i did decide to cut out the majority of the hallways for this build because this build it was a big one it took me like 10 hours or something just the actual recorded footage i had around about 10 hours for this build and once i sped it up and i cut it down i just had way too much footage of just hallways that just ended up having plants or grand clocks or you know the, the odd armchair in and so i did decide to cut out the majority of the hallways but i did want to show kind of like the front entrance into the build so in the actual front entrance we end up having uh, some kitchen counters which i'll try to make it look like some sort of receptionist desk so like maybe if your sims are coming and visiting i don't know granddad on on the weekend they want to maybe come into the front area they want to check in talk to the receptionist have a little chit chat maybe they like sign themselves in i did place down some clutter onto the counters to make it look like there was like a sheet of paper and then some pens and maybe you have to fill out some stuff if you want to come and visit your relatives or something but then there is also a few different plants in the corner and then you, you go around the archways which you can either go left or right and then you get meted with the massive grand staircase i wanted this build to have a fancy staircase because realistically a build of this size I feel like it wouldn't just have like a small little staircase plopped into the corner or like a small little staircase like tightly squeezed into the hallway and so the way that I did the staircase you can go up on the left or you can go up into the right and then on the upstairs level upstairs it kind of like overlooks I end up placing down like a chandelier and you know some nice like big fancy items to make it feel a little bit more grand but then the hallway after that and then the whole way kind of going out onto the back garden i did decide to cut out just because like i said i had too much footage and it was just a little bit too repetitive but i ended up placing down i think like a chess table and then some more armchairs and like some magazine stands and stuff but you can see that i've now moved over i've already furnished one of the rooms which was one of the card rooms so your sims can go in there and they can do like puzzles or play don't wake the llama or maybe play like I don't know, like card games or something. I also placed down a little coffee station in the corner on some kitchen counters, which I realised once I actually came in and I started playtesting this build, that is the only coffee station that is in the build. Don't worry though, there is plenty of tea stations. So you know them little traditional tea sets that we got from... 
oh, what pack was it? I think it was my wedding stories where your Sims can make all these different sorts of tea, you know, like, I don't even know. I just drink, I, I, I personally just drink PG tips. So I don't, I don't know all the different, actually no, and I do like peppermint tea every now and again. But you know, like all the different types of teas that your Sims can drink in the game. Basically, your Sims can make them on all these different like tea trays. I placed a ton of them in the build, but in terms of coffee stations, I think there's only one, and it ends up being in that little card room. But then you would have quickly just seen me do the computer room slash library. So I wanted there to be a space where your Sims could go in and maybe send some pictures and send some emails to their friends and family, or maybe if they just wanted to go and maybe educate themselves on a subject, they want to go into the library and researched, I don't know, maybe like a new cross stitching pattern or something. And so I placed down a ton of different bookcases in there, as well as loads of different computer desks with older looking computers on, because I was thinking, even though this is quite a, I was about to say snazzy them, it's not really a good describing one. Even though this is quite a fancy-ish retirement home, I didn't want it to be like high technology. Like I wanted it to feel like there's a lot of older furniture and a lot of traditional looking items and so I didn't place down like the the best computer in there I placed down I think actually the worst computer in there you know like the the really QB block proper old school kind of computers I placed down at some of them in there and then also some armchairs but now over here you can see that I've now moved on into one of the first kind of like little hallway rocking chair hybrid areas so in here i was just thinking a bunch of sims sitting here every single day and they sit in their little rocking chairs and they do some knitting and maybe they just have a chit chat this was the room which i was picturing there'd be a really grumpy sim living in this lot somewhere and you see the armchair that i've placed kind of like directly next to the little retro tv i could just picture a really grumpy sim that was maybe a little bit of a loner didn't really like talking to that many people maybe they sit there every single day and they have to watch their TV show, like they won't let anyone else change the channel or maybe even like speak over the TV show that they're watching. Maybe they've got like a favourite TV show that's on every single day at a certain time and if anyone's in the room and they're talking when this TV show is on, they're like really grumpy. I was just picturing like a really old grumpy sim just just hogging the TV basically. And so I wanted to place down an armchair sitting basically directly next to the TV because I imagine that they probably want full control over it. And so I placed that down. The TV itself, by the way, the little retro TV, it's from the Eco Lifestyle debug menu. It's one that your Sims can just find in a dumpster, but it's just like a perfect fit for, for this retirement home. Like I said, there does end up being two TV rooms. This is technically one of them. The other one does have a little bit of a bigger fancier tv but it's not like the 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 the, the, the big one you know like the really big ones that are like flat screen it's not one of them ones it's just like a a nicer bigger tv but anyway moving on as you can see i've now moved over into the next room now this ends up being a little bit of a cafeteria but then also kind of like the the dining space now i don't know how realistic it is at all to have a cafeteria in a retirement home but i mean there might be a few retirement homes dotted about the world that have like little cafeterias in i was basically thinking that this lot was kind of like a retirement home but then also a little bit of like a a community lot that sims could just live in and they get all their food made for them they don't have to like go into the kitchen i was thinking like realistically if i want to play in this build myself or if you want to play in this build yourself i don't want your sims to be acting like they're retired and then have to get up every single evening or every single breakfast and go and make like a, a massive meal to suit all the different sims that are living on the same lot and so i thought well i'll add in the little cafeteria option because in that way your sims can just hire a vendor it costs a hundred simoleons and then there's always like active food in the lot and then they can like change the menu and then maybe this way if you have got an elder sim that's maybe a little bit of a prankster maybe they were someone that liked to pull a few pranks in their time they could just come onto the cafeteria area and then they could add spice into the food and then you know just pull a massive prank on people but i thought it was like a nice addition to add into this lot because i didn't just want to have a kitchen and then a dining room because then it would feel too too much like a residential and it was it was a little bit challenging to be honest with you to be in this lot because i wanted to build like a hybrid between a residential and a community lot and i had to find kind of like a, a middle ground and so i thought if i have both a dining room space a cafeteria space and then from the cafeteria you can go into the kitchen where your sims can still make food like there's still like an oven and a fridge and stuff in there 
but then it was just like a nice medium if you get what i mean and so yeah this is the little little dining room space so in here i added three big round tables and then i dotted loads of different chairs around them also added the little retro music station in here the one that i've used is from the get famous expansion pack and it is just it's just perfect for a retirement home i placed that down a few times i think in this build i also placed it down into one of the card rooms which i don't think i've moved on to yet but yeah i basically placed it down and then clustered it out with loads of different like statues and stuff one thing that was quite difficult for me in this build was trying to clutter it up to make it feel like it was a retirement home but then not to add too much personalized clutter because i didn't want it to be personalized to certain sims and certain types of like skills and hobbies and stuff and like i said on the upstairs i end up doing it so we have three bedrooms that are decorated towards a certain type of career or interest and then three more like generic so you've kind of got almost like the the best of both worlds if you get what i mean but yeah cluttering up this build was a little bit of a challenge because what kind of clutter do you have in a retirement home honestly i'm so grateful that with the growing together expansion pack we've got some now like puzzle clutter so it looks like puzzles and board games and stuff because i went to town with them i used that new clutter item so much in this build because I mean, it makes sense to be cluttered up in a retirement home, but then on the other spaces, like on side tables or on just general surfaces, I was just really struggling with trying to clutter up to make it feel like a retirement home and not just a residential, but yeah either way moving on as you can see i've now moved over into the kitchen space so the kitchen space has two doors we have some double doors which kind of go out into the hallway but then to actually get a sim like a vendor to come into the cafeteria they have to go through the kitchen and then there's like a little door and then that goes into the vending like cafeteria space in the kitchen i wanted it to feel like a like a community kitchen if you get i didn't want it to feel like someone's kitchen with like all their personalized like spices and cooking books and stuff so i used the chef station which is from the dine out game pack which really helped because it took up a lot of kind of like clutter counter space and it looks like it's got loads of different chopped up fruits and veggies like already pre-made and it looks a little bit more community base rather than just some counters if you understand what i mean but i use that in there your sims can hire a chef if they want to which i'm pretty sure at one point and correct me if i'm wrong i'm pretty sure when the dianelle pack first came out we had the ability to hire a chef on every single oven in the game so you know like in any other like typical suburban family home if you have like an oven placed down to the kitchen and you click on it you can hire a chef at one point I swear they took that away or was I just imagining that I'm pretty sure at one point there was the ability to hire chefs to come to your sims houses on any kind of oven either way your sims can hire a chef to come if they actually use that oven like the big one from the dine out pack and then also place down two fridges into the kitchen also place down like a little storage cupboard thing it looks like it's got loads of different sauces and maybe like dried up food well not dried up food but you know like food that's dried and then they like make it so it's not dried anymore and it just looks like it's got loads of different food storage and it just looks like a little bit more of a community kitchen rather than like a, a typical family home kitchen to be honest now that i'm thinking about it i really don't think the kitchen was needed in this build because if we've got the cafeteria area your sims when they hire a vendor a vendor just shows up like they don't they don't go into the kitchen and they don't start like chopping up stuff and they don't they don't start preparing food they literally just appear and then they kind of like swipe their hand over the cafeteria item and then food is there and then your sims can go and get themselves something to eat so realistically you don't actually need the kitchen but for realistic purposes i feel like there would be a kitchen in this build but moving on as you can see i've now moved over i just quickly did the other tv room so that room had a little bit of a bigger tv in it's got like a bigger three seater sofa it's also got like a bookcase and then also a chess table in there i was struggling i'm not gonna lie with that room and to be completely honest and completely transparent with you I actually took probably about an hour to try and figure out what to do with that room. I ended up having to go away and then come back to the build at a later date just because I could not for the life of me figure out how to make a TV room without making it feel too much like just like a typical lounge room you'd find in any kind of build. But yeah, it was, it was definitely a struggle. That was like my sixth or seventh attempt or something on that room yeah it took me so long to figure it out but now as you can see i've moved over and i started doing the little art room now this room on the other hand 
came together so quickly and I just had so much fun decorating this room. And you can see the way that the light comes in, it kind of like shines on the floor. It's just so, it's just so pretty. I've said it before and I'm gonna say it again, the industrial loft kit windows are by far my favorite windows that we have in The Sims 4. They're just so, they're just so nice and they, they let in so much light. And the thing is as well, they work for so many different types of builds. Granted, in all fairness, I do probably use them a little bit too much because they are my favourite window, but I feel like for this kind of build, for this kind of like colonial retirement home, you would typically find floor to ceiling windows anyway, and so I'm going to use that as my excuse, but yeah, I just absolutely love the industrial loft kit windows. I feel like it makes the build from the outside as well. It just looks so fancy but like in, in a good way but yeah that was a little art room in there there is four different art easels there is also kind of like a little painting paintbrush station where your sims can like plonk their their paint brushes and all their different bits and pieces that they're using to actually do some painting maybe they've got like a few different knives that they like scrape onto the canvases there is also a little chair in the corner which if you've never seen that chair before it's one of the ones that your sims can unlock i think either from the artist career or the writer's career, one of the two, I'm not sure which one. It's a really pretty chair, but it's actually a light. So, so it's basically got this little spotlight, shines onto the chair, and it looks like it's got some books and like a, a bottle of wine on it. And basically the idea is your Sims are gonna be able to paint that from reference. You know, like the, the paint from reference option when you get your Sim to go on an art easel, it's basically like something that the Sims team would picture, you'd place in front of an art easel and then your Sims will try and paint it. It's from base game, it's really pretty. I rarely ever use it, so I put that into the room. Also placed down kind of like a, a curtain divider behind it, and then it also placed down like a, a chest of books next to it, and then also added in like an extra little an extra plant for a little bit of more like decoration, a little bit more summit summit <laughs> to the little area. And then there is also some empty canvases on one wall and then on the other wall that ends up being kind of like a massive station where I imagine previously your little elder sims have painted a few paintings and they're just waiting for them to dry. And so they've been putting like the little drying rack. But then now you can see I've moved over into the next room. Now this is the music room. When I was building this, I could just picture like Friday, Saturday, maybe even Sunday nights, it goes off in here. Like I can just imagine your little elder sims, maybe one of, one of them's in the piano, one of them's in the corner on the karaoke machine. And then maybe a few of them are sitting around in this little semicircle chair motion, maybe judging the piano playing and maybe judging like, the the singer on the microphone i just imagine that this room is one of the most active rooms in this whole entire lot just because there is so much going on in here so we have the grand piano in the corner and also a few more rocking chairs we also end up having the karaoke station kind of plonked in the middle of the room and i was going to use the one that has the tv attached to the karaoke station but it just it was too clunky and so i decided to just use the karaoke station itself but then pop a tv behind it i then placed down all these chairs in kind of like a a semi-circle motion going around it. Then there is also a few different guitars in that room, as well as like a violin and a music station. Just basically everything musical you can find in that room basically. But now I've moved over into the next room, but the way that you actually get to this room is you have to go through the music room. And this is the second card room, which also ends up having like a little TV in here. Also ends up placing down at the foosball table in the corner, which I wanted to try and include this somewhere in this build. And you wouldn't have seen it because it was when I was in the hallway, but in one of the hallways, there's kind of like a an archway which goes into a really small room. I think it's like four tiles by five tiles of memory. It's, it's really small. And in there, I was trying to figure out if I could place down the foosball table just because it's just one of them things that it's fun to get your sims to interact with. They don't get any skill off memory. I mean, they might do, but I don't think of memory. Your sims get any skill from this. It's just purely just something for a bit of fun. But I wanted to place it down into this build somewhere. And it ends up being in this room. There is also some more rocking chairs in this build or in this room. Honestly, I meant it when I said there must be about 30 odd. And we haven't even moved on to the upstairs because... I'm pretty sure I placed down at least one rocking chair into every single room, or there might be like one or two rooms, but there's definitely like another four or five rocking chairs upstairs, but it's it's literally the most stereotypical elder thing that you can find. So I placed down so many different armchairs within this build. And like I said, I'm so grateful that with the Growing Together expansion pack, we finally got like a more a more comfy looking rocking chair because previously we only had the wooden ones from the nifty knitting stuff pack and they looked they were wooden and they looked quite uncomfortable and i'm just really happy that we've now got a little bit more of a 
a bit of more of a comfy looking rocking chair but like i already said in that room it ends up pretty much being like a card room activity bits and bob space we've got a darts darts board in there as well because i mean why not you've already got a foosball table in the corner you might as well add a darts board into that room as well and then there is yeah just a ton of different card tables or like puzzle tables where your sims can just go and just have like a nice little a nice little like card game night or something like that but now as you can see i've now moved on to the upstairs and i'm starting by doing the hallway which kind of goes around all the different bedrooms so even though i did cut out the hallways that kind of like connect all the rooms downstairs i did want to show you the hallway for the upstairs just because i thought it was quite I don't want to say like vital, but I feel like it was quite key to the build. So on the upstairs hallway, we end up having a few different plants in the corner, which I feel like is not probably a massive shock. But then we also have like a chess board. We also have like a little chest of drawers. The one that I've used is from Cats and Dogs, but it looks like it's got like extra blankets and pillows and stuff. And I feel like you would find that kind of thing in a retirement home. I'm pretty sure I also placed that downstairs into one of the rooms. It might have been the more fancy TV room. But yeah, I placed down a chest of drawers to make it look like an extra storage for your Sims, like blankets and extra pillows and maybe like their extra throws and stuff. And I just thought it was really cute. And also maybe like extra towels. Maybe it's like a towel cabinet or something. And there is also like a grand clock in the hallway and just a few different paintings onto the wall. But now I've moved over and I've started furnishing one of the bedrooms. Now this is the bedroom which I imagined and kind of designed to be for a fisherman. So in this room, I use a lot of cats and dogs stuff because cats and dogs is like a seaside-y kind of like, it's Brenton Bay, it's like a seaside world. And so I use a lot of the cats and dogs expansion pack in here, including the four poster bed. Now, typically, normally, whenever I do like grandpa parents rooms in my houses I normally always sway towards using that bed because there's just something about it that just makes me feel like an elder just sleeps in that bed all the time but I use it in this room I also use the cats and dogs wallpaper which I want to mention it you'll see the way that I've wallpapered all the different individual rooms but the way that I did it is upstairs there is six bedrooms in total and two rooms will have the same wallpaper so in terms of like the bedroom wallpapering there is three different wallpaper variants and I tried to switch up the furnishings and the inside so they all look like different individual bedrooms but I didn't want to use too many combinations of wallpapers so I tried to keep it so there is three different wallpapers for the bedrooms and then just two bedrooms would share the same wallpaper but in there I use the cats and dogs wallpaper I also use a lot of different decorations and just clutter from the cats and dogs expansion pack I sized down like a boat wheel so it looks like it used to be on like an old wooden boat but I sized down this statue to make it really small when I place it down onto one of the side tables. There is also a painting that looks like it's a bit of a, a seaside-y, fisherman-y kind of painting. There is also one of the new wall decorations that we got from the Growing Together expansion pack and it looks like, and please correct me if I'm wrong, I don't I do not do fishing, I've never been fishing, but you know when you go fishing you have the different hooks that you can put on the end of a rod. It looks like it's got loads of them kind of like displayed in like a little cabinet. I popped that into that room. There is also some wall decorations from the Every day clutter kit so it looks like it's like a tiny little fishing rod and then like a picture of a sim holding up a fish which is really cute and then it also placed down at some mounted fish onto the wall but now you can see i've moved over into the next room now this was kind of like a a more generic room so this is one of the three bedrooms that i decorate to be pretty much for any kind of sim like i didn't come into this room and i didn't have like a set career in mind or a set kind of skill that this, this sim might have or anything like that this was more so i just wanted to decorate like a really cutesy elder room that was quite quite generic and any kind of sims from like any kind of walks of life could come and sleep in this room and it wouldn't really make like it would make sense because I feel like for certain rooms like the actress's room it's very apparent that a sim that was in the acting career was in that room because there ends up being like a ton of different movie posters and a few different awards and stuff I feel like that room might be a little bit harder to get like a everyday kind of sim just to sleep in but like I said there is three generic rooms in this lot and then three more decorated to a certain type of skill or activity or career or something but yeah they end up just being one of the little little generic rooms i think it's really sweet it's really cutesy it's got like a rocking chair in there a little knitting bag there is also the bed which i use from the cottage living expansion pack and it's got all these different like floral patterns on i was kind of struggling not gonna lie to you by the end of the build when it came around to choosing the beds because i wanted every single room to have their own 
bed like I didn't want to reuse the same bed twice and so I was struggling a little bit but yeah I use the one from Cottage Living in there I do want to mention also by the way now normally when it comes around to me furnishing bathrooms in my build I only ever show the furnishing for one it is the same for this build there is well actually no there's eight bathrooms but there's six bathrooms attached to bedrooms I only show the furnishing of one of the en suites which I think ends up being at the actresses en suites just because even though they're bathrooms surprisingly they took up so much footage space because with every single bathroom i wanted to use the same shower and bath combo the same toilet same sink but then i wanted to have different clutter depending on the different bathrooms so i just i didn't want to reuse the same items here and there and so to actually decorate them it did take me some time originally i did show like two bathrooms in the first like edit of this video but then when i came back in and i realized how long it was i did try and cut back and so yeah i'm only showing in the furnishing of one bathrooms but hopefully you don't mind hopefully you get the gist of it and also for the bedrooms i did decide to cut out two of the bedrooms one of the bedrooms was a more generic bedroom it just you know like the bedroom that we just saw it was a little bit more any kind of sim could sleep in there and then the other bedroom that i decided to cut out was the bedroom for the sim that really likes bowling but don't worry, I will have screenshots of absolutely everything at the end of the video. I've already taken them and yeah, so you'll, you'll see all the bedrooms but just not actual video footage of them. Anyway, moving on, as you can see, I've now actually just finished up one of the bathrooms. So that is the bathroom or like the ensuite for the sim that I imagine is a retired actress. Now I was picturing that this sim that sleeps into this bedroom was maybe like a five star celebrity she had paparazzi consistently following her she was like up there like she was i'm trying to think of an actress i don't know Kira knightley in the 90s or she 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 was a big one like she was a massive actress and then now she is just retired and she decided to spend the rest of her days in this retirement home with all of her elder friends and yeah, I wanted to try and reflect that she was in the actress career in her room. So I placed down some like get famous movie posters. Also placed down at some debug awards. I was personally picturing that maybe they're her awards that she won at one point in time. And then she still wants to display them in her bedroom. And so I popped them onto her little chest of drawers. But then also in this room, there ends up being two rocking chairs. Because she had the biggest room. Because I imagined that she would probably pay the most money to live in this retirement home. And so there was space to have two rocking chairs. And then also like a little tea station in the middle. But apart from that, I'm going to go around, finish the room off, and that is basically it. So anyway, guys, I'm going to end this voiceover right here. As always, you can download this build via the gallery. My gallery ID is JessicaPyYT, or if you search for the hashtag JessicaPyYT, or just the hashtag JessicaPy. As always, thank you guys so much for watching this video. And as always, if you do like my content, then please do subscribe. And hopefully I will see you in my next Sims 4 speedboarding video. Bye, guys.